Looks like a pretty good space drive, doesn't it? That's just pure DC power in a radio sense. Off. On the wrong way. On the correct way. Turn off the DC power, you get nothing. Turn on the DC power, and it shoots them out again. made some good progress on the iron drive. Now we have to scale up to slightly larger sizes to decide which physics to pursue. We have a Corbino disc inside, copper bound aluminium. And here's a ring magnet through which it goes to make the iron spin. And then over here we put three big wire coil electromagnets arranged radially, one, two, three, to see how radial DC magnetic field will affect the spinning of argon gas. Okay, now we have the argon gas spinning very rapidly. Let's see what happens when I add some DC power to the electromagnets which are pointing inward radially. No DC power. DC power to the radio magnets. No DC power. DC power to the radio magnets. No DC power, add DC power. Okay, now with the end of that Corbino disc, which you can see there, place just ahead of these ring magnets, which make it spin, and just behind or inside of these three big radial electromagnets, Let's see what happens when we add DC power to these electromagnets and change the polarity with a flip switch every second or so. One polarity should make it spin, the other may eject it. Now the argon ions are spinning with no DC power as a result of the north facing magnetic field from this ring magnet. We haven't put any DC power yet from the electromagnets, but we're going to now. Now with the Corbino disc moved very close to the ring magnets, off, on. DC power to the three electromagnets in a radial sense, which provides a Lorentz force that drives it outward. Flip the polarity, get nothing. Restore the polarity, We have another hybrid model with a permanent ring magnet through which the Corbino disc is going and we've put five radial 
electromagnets in front of it and you can see the ions are spinning. Now when we turn on DC power to those electromagnets you can see this big radio force to shoot things out on off on off on off now when we change the polarity of those DC magnets off on we don't get any projection. Now if we study the ring magnet alone with the Corbino disc a little ahead of it, you can see the ions are just spinning nicely, not doing anything. But then if we put the ends of that Corbino disc back into the center of the ring magnet, you can see a cloud of gas covers the electrode because that's where the radiomagnetic field is, right in the center of the ring magnet. And we've got a Lorentz force there that pushes the gas outward. It's very narrow, however, if we bring up a set of permanent radio magnets which repel the main rig magnet so it repels and nothing happens finally when we do exactly the same thing except we just flip the ring magnet so it will attract these radio magnets we bring them close you get a tremendous outpouring of gases by Lorentz force And that's the very basis for our ion drive. Thus we have a Lorentz force which produces spin from the north pole of the ring magnet and then when we bring up these permanent radio magnets which attract the ring magnet there will be a tremendous outward pouring of gas because they create a Lorentz force that makes the gas go outward. study these radio magnets by themselves, we see the argon gas is spinning before the Corbino disk enters the radio magnetic field. It's also spinning if we put the end of the Corbino disk at the far end of the radio magnetic field. But if we put the two ends of the Corbino disk inside of the radio magnetic field about there, then they experience all of these inward pointing magnetic fields and they get a new Lorentz force that takes the spin velocity and shoots them out. The field's pointing in, it's spinning that way and the Lorentz force shoots them out. Placed deep in the radiomagnetic field, the Lorentz forces get even stronger. Magnetic fields pointing in, there, there spin motion so you get a Lorentz force that shoots the ions out. Instead of a ring magnet which is fairly flat and the radiomagnetic field is very narrow we can put together these stacks of magnets. Now the radiomagnetic field must be like from here to here, not just a little point. And when the ends of the Corbino disc are slightly in front, you can see the argon ions are spinning, but not doing anything else. They're just spinning around the north pole of that structure. But then when we push this ends of the tube back into the radiomagnetic field, you can see them get shot out by the Lorentz force from the radiomagnetic field of these magnets. and the gas is being shot outward. 
This is a new Lorentz force comes into play only in this one other region. You see the ring magnet has almost the same magnetic field as these stacks of magnets except there's a radial part in the center which generates an outward Lorentz force for argon gas and it's much bigger here than there. So this field isn't really usable. If we use a big stack of magnets like that then we can get quite a lot of outward thrust of gases due to the long series of magnets.